Guys, look, it docked. It finally docked. The ship that we just been live streaming and sharing with you. Those of you who've seen it. It's just a short video on YouTube, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the custom That's area. Why it's, uh, all set up. And, yeah. Uh, closed out. Yeah. I mean, this is the, uh, the international section. Yeah, so this is where the custom thing happens. And behind us are the river boats, which is European. These are Europeans, so they're, they they don't have to be checked. And uh, although I see only Japanese tourists. But these are Swiss boats. Yeah, so they probably came from Japan, staying in one of the European countries, and then. So they're already checked and screened. There we have Hans Klok, which is a huge Dutch magician. Physician? Not a physician, no, a magician. Magician. I love, I love his old, old fashioned style of his tent. That's his long blonde big, hair. Big, big top, his long hair flowing. There's always wind. Always wind. For some reason, it's always windy in front of him. <laughs> He's like the wind waker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but he's, he's a nice guy. He always seems so uh, down to earth when he does interviews. So that's the most important thing. Still not docked? Still not docked? Oh yeah, still not docked, no. I didn't see that just right now. Those guys are waiting. I imagine all the passengers are now standing at the exit like they do on the airplane. You know, ages before the airplane is gonna land, everybody starts to push and squeeze. And me, no, not when it's landing. No, 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 they start in the air. They start, it's you, not possible. You, the, you, some, some really start in the air while it's landing. You see them getting nervous and anxious and, you know, holding on to stuff. <laughs> and then the minute it lands, as it's taxiing still, it's always a funny, funny sight. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to continue our walk. We hope these Japanese wonderful people are gonna have a wonderful time in Amsterdam and I'm sure I'm sure they have. What's the walkway? Oh yeah, this is the walkway up. So they can't have you go loosey goosey, walk around. They need to keep an eye on you. Man I want to visit Japan someday. These Japanese people remind me of how much I want to visit Japan someday. And I did forget about that, but then we started watching Louise Poppy's vlog. Louise, this wonderful lady from New Zealand. She goes to Japan frequently and she shares her adventures. And she reminded me of the fact that I would love to see Japan someday. Yeah. I love that even their banners are in Japanese, Mike. Did you see that? Although this is Amsterdam, but they have everything in Japanese. I think it's Chinese. Is it Chinese? No. I don't know. I always tell myself that I can... That lady has... A veil. That is funny. I always tell myself that I'm able to, s to tell whether someone is Japanese or Chinese. But Mike might be right this case. Yeah, no, I think these are Chinese people. Well, in that case, maybe someday I'll visit the highlands of China. 
I grew up with martial arts movies, Chinese martial arts in Morocco. I was crazy with Chinese martial arts movies. I myself wanted to be able to fly too. I can smell Chinese food. Sorry? Do you smell Chinese food? Yeah. Yeah, the exact smell I smell in Chinatown that we have just around the corner from where we live. It's so cute. So they have everything in their own culture, including the banners. I think that's really cute. The strange thing is, it's a Swiss ship. <laughs> it is a Swiss so, ship. <laughs> yeah. Always uh, puzzles me. Yeah. <laughs> you never know when the, when the door slides open. You know, it's always a surprise who comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Although it's a Swiss ship, yeah. All right, let's continue our walk. We just got a notification from our weather apps. Yeah, it's going to be raining. They expect 25% chance of rain. So depending on how the weather goes, we might cut it short. At 10 o'clock. 